Hello and welcome. It's Sunday the 28th of July 2024 and this is my last vlog of the month. On this day in 1828 the first theatrical performance of Mary Shelley's novel Frankenstein took place in Covent Garden, London. And 158 years ago today children's author Beatrix Potter was born in 1866. Thank you for your recent questions and comments. There's been a lot going on in recent weeks and definitely people have felt their feathers ruffled. As you know from my previous vlog, there was a general election here in the UK on the 4th of July and the Labour Party, led by Sakir Starmer, won by a thumping majority. Already the critics are out and the main cry is that Labour has broken their promises. All nonsense, of course. It's less than four weeks since the general election and most of that time has been spent trying to establish the reality of this country's economic status. And an announcement is going to be made early next week, apparently, where it will show we're in excess of £20 billion adrift in our accounts. Something the previous administration forgot to mention on the hustings. As someone who did not vote for Labour or Tory this time round, I acknowledge that the new government has a nightmare to deal with what's going on domestically as well as internationally. In the interests of all, we have to accept there's no quick fix and we should give the new administration some slack. A number of you are warning me about Labour Party and reminding me of what went wrong when the unions took control and there were strikes leading to the winter of discontent in 1978. My response is the anti-union legislation brought in by Margaret Thatcher and also more recently has curbed what actions unions can take. What has happened in recent years is wedge politics. Many disputes were resolved in the last five years. Agreements had been reached between the unions and the employers, but it was the government who refused to sign the agreements off. An example of the divisive nature of the previous government. By contrast, the vast majority of you have told me that the change of government, there seems to be a huge collective sense of relief, and in the main, people feel happier. As for those of you who keep harking back in the day, I say move on. In recent weeks we have seen football Euros, tennis Wimbledon and of course there's the Paris Olympics. Add to that, here in the UK there's the annual proms festival at the Albert Hall in London. That's in full swing. Plus the Edinburgh Festival is looming. And this highlights how much better things are when we all work together. Let's not bang on about what it was like, good or bad, in the past. Let's stop blaming people for why we're in the mess we are. The answer is, we are in a mess. So look to the future. Each of us do our bit, large or small, to pull our country together and out of the quagmire we're in. Look ahead to glowing, cleaner, healthier, and above all, a very positive Britain. Thank you for listening. Until the next time, toodle pip.